Hi, this is a fabric course video and if you're interested, please stay tuned. Hi lovely people, welcome to it. It's Josie. Josie here. I'm glad to have you back again. I hope you're all doing well. I'm well myself really. And I would like to welcome my old subscribers. Thank you for always tagging along, watching my videos and commenting on the various videos I upload and my new subscribers, you're welcome. And if you're here for the first time and you're wondering what I talk about, I share sewing related content ranging from sewing plans, fabric calls, sewing makes and a few tutorials here and there. And if you're interested in such, please don't leave without subscribing. And I realize that I always forget to show you what I'm wearing. <laughs> and today I'm wearing this top. I'll show you what it looks like. And this top is Simplicity 8982. I had to cross check. Simplicity 8982. And I, I made this is the I made this a skirt version that was a, a midi skirt version and uh, pencil skirt version and this top. And this top comes with two variations. There's one with a lower neck without a band. And this was made out of a textured jersey fabric, which is a lady macaroni fabric that was gifted to me by Minova. I remember I made this too, and I reviewed the pattern earlier in the year. I'll add a cut here if you're interested. I didn't wear it much because it was turning towards spring and summer, and we all know we've not done much in 2020, so I've not worn it much, and I remember to wear it at least for this video because the weather is a bit chilly now. I think autumn is in full swing. There's no doubt about that. So I picked it up to record this video and I also wanted to feel smart. So I thought I'll show you the, a few fabrics that I've been able to accumulate this month. Not a few, there are quite many. And I would need your input on a few suggestions cause not every fabric is fully planned for. So I'm open to suggestions you might have for me. And probably before I go on, I picked up this fat quarters from a local supermarket in the UK called I think I picked them up from Aldi yes from Aldi and they were apart and I wanted just your suggestions what you use your fat quarters for I just didn't want to leave them there and I regret that I didn't buy them apart from making face coverings because you can only have too many and these are just florals they're gorgeous floral fabrics and they were really very cheap I think I got them for three pounds or four pounds for a set of this is a set of five they are florals beautiful fabrics then i got some for my kids these are marvels these are marvel fat quarters marvel spider-man superman that would be good for my son i could put them together and make color blocked bottom shorts for summer pajama shorts or shorts to wear but you could just share with me your input then i've got wonder woman for my princess just let me know in the description box before what you use your fat quarters for. I bought them because I was excited to have fat quarters and they're 100% cotton. Yeah. And then I thought I'll also share with you a new fabric shop. It's not new. It's been around for a while, but I've never come across it until recently. And it's after you see that particular shop and make your first order that you realize that so many people have been buying fabrics from there. On Instagram and I wonder how I've missed it. It's called TFG Fabrics. It's a UK company that deals in a range of stretch fabrics and most of their fabrics actually are good quality. Oh, like what I've received seems like good quality because I saw most of them are certified, Ecotex certified. So that gave me proof and confidence that I was buying good quality fabrics. I thought I'll show you start with the sweat jersey fabrics I bought. I bought a number of and actually another thing about that store is quite affordable. I liked it and they sell their fabrics by half a meter that even when you put it to a meter is still fairly affordable. And also the other thing, the benefit of buying in half a meter, you don't have to buy two meters when all you need is one and a half. So that's a bonus. So I bought a few these are ribbing. I bought a few ribbings. I bought this is a plain black ribbing. It might seem like a basic fabric, but we know how many times we look for that ribbing and we don't have it anywhere. Sorry, the camera can't focus. And this is fuchsia ribbing. I bought this one for some to match up with the sweatshirting up for my daughter. 
then navy you can't go wrong with dark colors then i bought this interesting gray one hope my camera can focus so and actually what i bought half a meter of each and each meter was just four pounds so i thought that was a good deal and the fact that i have the option of buying in half meter most times you don't need a meter of ribbing because you might never get to use that particular color much of it so it's always better if you have the option to buy half a meter of something so let me show you other things that i picked up from there then i also picked up this is a basic french terry fabric i i just bought half a meter <laughs> for a reason and this is just a gray french terry fabric and it actually feels really good to the touch half a meter was four pounds 75 so that's times two for a meter and i bought this a half a meter of this because i originally had another french terry fabric which i just bought half a meter row because i wanted to make i wanted to make a raglan shirt for my husband my son but i didn't have a matching fabric so i bought one to make probably paneled sweatshirt for him so I've got this with some shirts, which I'll match up with this. They are the same exact shades. So this is something planned for fall. The winter sewing, I won't say when, but winter sewing. Then another fabric I bought. I think let me first show you this. Then I bought up two, I bought two cotton jersey, cotton spandex fabrics. And this is burgundy in burgundy color. Actually, their fabrics feel really good to the touch. They're good quality fabrics. They stretch very well. This is cotton spandex. Then I also bought a burnt orange cotton spandex. And these are my go-to colors for autumn and winter. They are honestly my favorite colors. I would wear them all year round. Sorry, it's getting a bit dark, so it might have a little shade to it. But this is a burnt orange cotton jersey. And each of these cost me... Eight pounds fifty for a meter because I bought just a meter of each, so I paid eight pounds fifty for each of them, which is brilliant. So I bought these two and I actually like them. I might color block them if I have some because I'm in the process of a patent test for lab notions and I'm hoping to use one of these. But if I end up color, I might still use whatever remains for a color blocked something. I'll see how I work around with that. So these are plain jerseys. You can never go wrong with plain fabrics. And then another thing I bought from them, which is actually exciting. I'll try to attach links to patterns that I'm going that I know I've already selected for a particular fabric. But I bought this. This is stretch. It's like denim stretch denim jeggings fabric. I found it quite interesting because you've always you always see this pattern when ready to wear leggings or jeggings patterns. This is the back. Hope the camera can focus. And this is a gorgeous, it's the called it stretch denim. It's like, it's quite, quite heavier than cotton spandex. But it's also that middle ground, it's not it's stretchy, it's in, it has enough stretch and recovery. And I'm planning to make some jeggings with it. And probably by the time this video goes up, I might have sold up this. So I can't wait. I, right now, just after this video, I'll be putting it in the wash. And I bought one and a half meters of this because I'm going to be making some jeggings using a love notions patterns. That's the resolution bottoms. I'm going to be writing a, a blog for love notions with that pattern and pairing it up with a few pieces from the same pattern company. I'm going to attach the lines drawing of the pattern here, but the resolution bottoms I'm looking at comes with leggings the motto leggings then it also comes that same pattern comes with joggers and also and straight straight boot cut pants really in stretch fabrics and both of these and all the patterns come with either yoga waistband or a contoured waistband but I'm, i'll go with the contoured waistband with this i'll show you probably i'm so sure i'm going to be making this this month so i'll be showing you what i'll have made out of it because i need to get it done before this week ends and then another extra interesting fabric i bought from them oh i didn't tell you how much the jeggings cost the fabric was six pounds per half a meter so i bought one and a half meters and i bet 18 pounds which was really affordable because it really feels good to the touch over here i've got what they called the copper mal brushed knitted fleece 
and actually when i was looking for knitted sweater knit fabrics is what got me to this website and this is a gorgeous copper mulled knitted fleece on the outside it looks like a knitted sweater knit fabric if you can tell and then on the inside it's fleecy it looks like it's a fleece fabric hope the camera can't focus and it's quite cozy and i would imagine it comes in handy sorry my light all you're seeing through is my light probably to show you how thick or how transparent it is but i'm planning to sew up a cardigan in this i bought one and a half meters of it and i thought this would be your best go-to colors definitely these are my go-to colors for both throughout the year but they're your go-to autumn colors and half a meter was four pound 75 so i bought three one and a half meters and i ended up paying okay i bought one and a half meters of this and i paid 14 pounds 25 14 pounds yeah 14 pounds 25 for one and a half meters and this is just one of the makes i'm making for my blog post for love notions and i'm planning to sew up the love notions boyfriend cardi and it just has a short con collar and it's a long cardi of some sort it's quite long it comes to the mid mid thigh so i'll be using this it comes with no closures i'll touch a line drawing here and i'm hoping to make that cut in this and it's quite cozy i believe it's an open cut it has no closures whatsoever but if you need to feel a bit warm you can use a belt over and i believe it will get loads of wear this season and i'm excited with what i make out of this and then another another fabric this i got actually last month yes i got last month i was planning to sew it up i've been quite busy and probably it's going to be sewn up pretty soon and this is a cotton jersey it has some yellow lime it's either yellow or lime green i could be wrong it's a hot pink cotton jersey this was gifted to me by fabrics for all a local fabric store in leeds so i'm gifted fabric which i review and share with you really and with this they actually have in many it comes in many colorways i will try to attach a link to each and every fabric i'm listing down here and it comes in a number of colorways and i found it to be interesting it's not fully stripy it has broken stripes and um I, I thought i was so sure of what i was going to use it for i was going to use a pattern from the butter style magazines i'll try to attach the picture here and i think that was from the issue august issue i can't find a magazine here but it's from the august issue of this year there's a, a particular top i was looking at i know these are your summer colors but no one can stop you from wearing your clothes whenever you want to so this is I might either change my mind and also use it for the pattern tests that I'm doing for Love Notions and use a plain, match it up with another plain fabric, but I'll see probably by the end of the month. Definitely this will be made up this month, so by the end of the month I'll have shown you what I'll have sewn with it. But I also have a meter of this and it's also a gorgeous fabric, it's a cotton, it's a cotton spandex which is really feels good to the touch. And then I've got some wovens oh that's all that all that has been neat fabrics i've got some wovens that were kindly gifted to me by minova this the first one i received september yeah i received it in september but i had got it around sewing it up and when it came up i was so excited and i was waiting for that particular pattern and more inspiration to for what i could use it for and this is the gorgeous this is a cotton poplin fabric I'm so sure the camera is not doing justice to it the background is a like a beige of some sort it has some gorgeous small flowers it's a beautiful fabric and the pattern i had in mind was my call 7946 it's a pattern that i made a few people if you go to instagram actually if i show you the lines drawing here it might not be sold to the pattern but until it's a different variation that people have made out of it we over on instagram and i thought to, i would have a go at sharing using the sharing elastic for the bust area then make it 
and then go for a the midi skirt i'm hoping to make their version version c yes version c comes with elasticated somewhat bishop sleeves and they are puffy sleeves and also i was hoping to make now the length of version d which is a midi with a rough at the bottom however i'm not sure whether this fabric will be best for it because this is a cotton poply it's quite not as drapey but it's not no it's not a cotton it's not it's a poplin i think it's quite it's not drapey at all but also it's not as stiff as cold, quilting cotton so that's an option for this but i also have another fabric that could instead actually be used for that which might work better it's one of those precious ones that i want to be so sure that i'll choose a pattern that will bring it out best so i'm going to need your opinion and advice when i show you also the second one because i'm spoiled for choice i don't know which one would work best for that pattern and this other one is gorgeous i'm going to attach links to all these fabrics and this i received this week look at this look at this fabric and this is a cotton lawn so it's much softer and has a light hand compared to this if you can tell i have i think two and a half meters of each so this one is a bit lightweight you see how much drapey a bit more drapey this one is compared to this and this is a lady McElroy cotton lawn which was also gifted to me by minova they actually have similar prints i think they have similar flowers i could be wrong but yeah they're quite similar i can't color block them because this one is much light and much drapey and this is a cotton lawn it actually feels nice to attach i've used a cotton lawn before one before but it wasn't as drapey this feels like you'd be and you would under be under the impression that actually it's not 100 percent cotton because it's drapey it has like a silky feel of some sort and it's a gorgeous fabric i'm excited about this so this can be used for the macaws pattern i've just shown you because if i decide to go with the rough at the bottom this is likely to drape nicely with the ruffle so i need your opinion really if you think this pattern this fabric that's a bit more drapey compared to this so you could advise me on which one i should use for that pattern also considering that i'm going to do some shearing or if shearing might be a lot for this fabric that this might bring it out better i'm open to suggestions and also patterns you might recommend for either really i'll be really happy with all your input and then my last fabric is it yeah it's my last fabric it's also a lead macaroni cotton lawn i received it with this in the mail and it also came from minova this is a blue gorgeous with so many colorful little it's a geometric print of some sort yeah but you can tell and this is also a cotton lawn it feels exactly the same as this it feels exactly the same as this they're equally as a bit drapey they are very soft to the touch and i'm excited about both of them when i received them it was that happy time when you look at gorgeous fabric and you can't stop stroking them actually they feel nice to stroke and for this actually aha, i know what i'm going to use it for i'm going to use it for the by hand london hana dress by hand london had a sale for a few days flash sale for 48 hours so i managed to buy the by the hana dress and i'm hoping to use it for this because i've seen a few people who have tried to use thick fabrics like um, uh, african wax print fabrics for for the hana dress it has ended up being a bit bulky around the seam on the skirt piece so i realized and most of them have had to take out a bit of the bulk by reducing the amount of gathers they create there then i'm thinking it would be much drip here and better with a cotton lawn since it's not a stiff fabric so with this i'm so sure the hana will be the perfect pattern for it it's also equally as drapey and i'm excited about all of them i'm, I'm hoping to make up at least two of them this month of this or the minova fabrics but i'm open to suggestions if one of these is going to be the macaws pattern which pattern would you use for the other i'm always happy to hear all your suggestions because they help me make decisions when i'm a bit confused and that's it with my fabric call i was careful not to call it september october sewing plans given that there are few items i didn't manage to sew up in september 
and also the fact that I'm in the middle of a patent test and also the fact that there are items I need to sew up ASAP for the blog post so with so doing i'm not calling it october sewing plans because they might change apart from those i might pick up a few that i didn't manage to sew up next last month but that's it with all my sewing plans i'm happy to suggestions and thank you very much for watching and if you and if you sat through this entire video and you're not subscribed to my channel please go ahead and subscribe and while at it also press the bell icon so youtube notifies you whenever i upload a new video I thank you for watching really I hope you managed to take a cup of tea before because <laughs> it has been quite a long video I'm open to suggestions and all the advice you have for me otherwise so well and stay safe until next time bye